First of all, I urge all KL residents to get a copy of this PAC report. Uh, it is available online on Parliament website. Every KL resident should have a read because it talks extensively on land transactions that covers um, two FT ministers' uh, tenure. One is Tengku Adnan, the other one is uh, Khalid Samad. And now Anwar Musa will have to look at the recommendations made by PAC. PAC is bipartisan, that means you have both sides of um, MPs uh, looking into, studying into all these issues and making the recommendations that has been, the, the recommendations have been tabled to Parliament yesterday. And because it's a bipartisan effort, there is no way the FT Minister and the Cabinet can dismiss this as a political uh, document. Uh, and so I urge KL residents, please have a look. Now, number two, this is great vindication uh, for the residents of Sagambut, especially those who are fighting in the case of uh, preserving Taman Rimba Kiara as a park. Taman Rimba Kiara is still at, uh, in, in court at the moment, at the Court of Appeal stage. But there's one line uh, in these recommendations made by PAC that, is, uh, that confirms everything that we've been saying all along. Struktur dan amalan Yayasan Wilayah Persekutuan yang sedia ada tidak membolehkan penglibatan Menteri Wilayah Persekutuan dan Datuk Bandar Kuala Lumpur tanpa kewujudan konflik kepentingan. This uh, Datuk Bandar and the FT Ministers, they sit on the board of Yayasan Wilayah Persekutuan, a company dealing with government's asset, but the profit enter into a company. Okay, And because Datuk Bandar is also the authority giving planning permission development order to developers uh, and some of them involve uh, some of these lands. Therefore, a conflict of interest, a serious one exists uh, in this current setup. Saya uh, rasa tidak sesuai kalau Yayasan Wilayah Persekutuan menggunakan nama kebajikan dan membuat transaksi yang ada commercial nature. Okay, billboards, land transaction developments, uh, the, the Robin Hood style of doing charity must stop in Kuala Lumpur. It's not acceptable by Kuala Lumpur. You don't take what does not belong to you, belongs to people to do charity. Okay? Itu saja. Terima kasih.